Very good afternoon to all the students. I hope that the audio is clear. We will wait for 30 seconds, 30 or 40 seconds, so that all the students who are regular to these sessions can join us. Okay, so a very warm welcome to all the students who are joining us. A welcome to the DAW session. Uh, we are in the December month and in this month we are handling the GS3 paper. And in the November month we have handled the GS2 paper. The whole playlist for that month is there on the Shunya IS channel. If you will see the Shunya IS channel. On the playlist, you can go and watch the GS2 compilation of the DAW, where we discussed all the questions regarding that. Okay. So, moving moving to the today's question, let's first give a look to today, today's question. And if any student has any doubt, if any student has any doubt when it comes to answer writing, what you can do is that you can post that in the live chat and we will try to integrate that doubt of answer writing within the frame of this question. Okay. So let's start the question. Analyze the causes behind India's poor performance on the environmental performance index. So, there are a lot of different kind of indices which are being released by different entities. Sometimes the indices which come in the exam are very famous, are very well known. We also read it for the prelims examination. But certain times, even certain indices which are being released by certain universities and think tank, they end up coming in the paper and we get troubled by it. So, my point is that we do not need to be afraid that how, how are we going to handle the question if we have not read about the indices. First, my approach to the question would be that how we can handle the question even when we have not read the indices as such, but we will try to think that how we can create the answer by a general understanding of the topic. Okay, first we will try to look at from that perspective. Then we will also see the specific indicators of this indices, of this index. Okay, but first we will try to make general causes. So we have to analyze the causes behind the poor performance on the environmental performance index and what are the key environmental challenges and policy shortcomings. So, policy shortcomings and what are the key challenges when it comes to contributing to the lower ranking. So, why we have why we have scored lower ranking, we have to tell that what are the challenges and what are the policy shortcomings in that and we have to tell what are the causes behind the poor performance index. Those who are joining us, those who are joining us a little late, a little bit late, let me tell you what we are doing. We are handling a question on environmental performance index. The question is asking that what are the challenges, what are the shortcomings, and what are the causes for India's poor poor performance in the environmental performance index. Now let's see that how we will structure it. By structuring, we mean that there are certain implicit and explicit parts of the question and we have to address each of the subpart. So, we will obviously introduce the question, we will give a contextual introduction, then we will tell the causes, then we will tell the causes behind performance or poor performance in environmental performance index 
then we will tell that what are the challenges and what are the policy shortcomings when it comes to the poor ranking then after that the old the old students who have been attending these class would definitely know that our duty will not just end after this even it is, even if it is a 10 marker we have to tell in very brief that what is the way forward how we can improve it and then we will make a crisp conclusion so sometimes you will see that even in a 10 marker you will have to make three sub parts what are the three sub parts that causes for poor for causes for poor performance on epi then what are the challenges and what are the policy shortcomings and because we have talked about certain issue it is imperative that we also tell the way forward we also tell how to fix it then we go for a crisp conclusion okay so this is going to be the structure this is going to be the flow of the answer from this side to this side okay this flow to the answer is also very important because it is not like that pehle aapne ye wala part likh diya generally the question is asking the solution to the problem in parts itself so majority to hame usi flow mein likhna hota hai but we also have to logically see that challenges come first then we are writing the solutions hai na now let's see that how we can introduce it so because question is asking on environmental performance index we can directly start with the definition of environmental performance index who is giving this index okay yahan pe aap kya batayenge that this kind of index is given by the yale university isme agar aapko detail pata hai to bahut acha hai बट अगर नहीं भी पता है तो योर ड्यूटी इज दैट यू टेल दैट हाउ दिस रिपोर्ट इज एसेंशियली रिगार्डिंग द सस्टेनेबल डेवलपमेंट हाउ इट गोज फॉर द बैलेंस ऑफ थ्री पीज दैट इज प्रॉफिट पीपल एंड प्लैनेट हाउ यू कैन ऑल्सो टेल दैट हाउ environmental conservation is important to achieve stakeholder capitalism you can also tell the importance of conservation of environment why there is talk of conservation of environment in dpsps as well as fundamental duties so even even in a question when we are dealing with gs3 answers we can use dpsps and the fundamental duties also okay the exact the exact name is not important but you just need to know that there is a think tank under yale university and they are releasing this report environmental performance index then you can also tell that how india how india got a rank of 180 under the environmental performance index okay all these are some of the contextual way ways to introduce your question now let's see some of the ways in which answer was introduced i really like this way of introduction ek bar isme dekh lete hain india stands at 180 in 2022 epi at the lowest with 18.9 score so they have also remembered the score but what will happen in exam is that i am damn sure that jinhone bhi ye copy likhi hai unhone ek bar revise zarur kiya hoga likhne se pehle ya likhne se pehle hi environmental uh, performance index kisi current affair magazine mein khol ke padha hoga but that will not be the liberty in exam like scenario so recalling the exact score of any indices see what is happening is in that when you are writing this question aapne revise kar aapne likh diya 
बट यू विल बी हैविंग ऑलमोस्ट फिफ्टी टू सिक्सटी रिपोर्ट फॉर योर होल जी एस पेपर सो मैक्स दैट इज पॉसिबल इज दैट यू रिमेंबर द रैंक ओके Kavya is asking in biology we study nature and in geography we also study nature so why we don't combine it Kavya that is not uh, within the domain of the lecture today we will discuss it kabhi uh, aur kisi aur time baat karenge philosophical nature ki baat hai EPI is a biennial index prepared by the Yale University so the candidate has clearly laid down the context of the answer that this is regarding a report the the score is this the index is this now they have they have talked little bit about epi that how it deals with environmental health climate change and ecosystem viability so this is a this is a good way why because in the whole question we will be talking about epi so because inko epi ki exact indicators pata hain that's why they have dealt that how environmental health includes air quality waste management sanitation and drinking h2o so yahan pe drinking water bhi likh sakte the h2o ka to as such need nahi tha koi i don't know why inhone h2o likha hai ab kisi ko koi social sciences ke uh, professor aapki copy check kar rahe hain ab unko h2o h2o nahi samajh mein aaya to kya karenge green house gases CO2, NH3, N2O. Again, try to keep it simple. Try to keep it simple. Do not write these formulas, है ना? Ecosystem viability, biosphere, agriculture, biodiversity. ये last वाला line, land cover, uh, forest cover होगा या land cover होगा. Ultimately, what they have done is that they have shared that what are the components of the EPI. and these are the official indicators okay so they have given a basis in the introduction itself introduction is very crisp and they, then they have also shared the components though they were not asked kavya is asking can we take her doubt sure sure after the lecture we can discuss it kavya so now coming back now what are the causes the first part is that what are the causes for poor performance on the epi now you have to understand that it is not physic it is not uh, practically possible that you understand or you are rem you remember and you know recall all the exact indices but in general if we think about poor kind of uh, environmental situation in india what can be the reason for it what can be the causes for it let's think about different sectors first try to try to bring a sectoral approach hai na abhi ye sectoral approach mein bhi hum aur further sub parts banayenge but sabse pehle aap sectoral approach apnaiye agriculture as a sector uthate hain what are the different sectors that are there फर्स्ट देर इज प्राइमरी इंडस्ट्रीज देन देर आर सेकेंडरी देन देर आर टर्सरी है ना तो सबसे पहले एग्रीकल्चर उठाया वी आर सींग दैट हाउ देर इज एक्सेसिव फर्टिलाइजर यूज वी आर सींग दैट हाउ देर इज ट्रबल बर्निंग हाउ देर इज लीचिंग ऑफ केमिकल्स how there is also desertification of land how we are going for monoculture what is monoculture monoculture means that we are just going for wheat and paddy mostly right that is monoculture so what will happen because of monoculture that the local kind of flora local kind of vegetation that was there that will suffer okay that is why the monoculture is dangerous for the environmental protection because environment is also about biodiversity okay then leaching when we will use excessive chemicals then what will happen 
then there will be leaching there will be penetration of that chemicals within the ground water so also how we are using excessive ground water and we are also basically doing water pollution how water pollution is happening water pollution will happen in two ways first it will happen that then that when the fertilizers will be used and flood irrigation will be used then there will be surface water runoff that water will join the streams and there will be different kind of marine pollution there will hum dekhte hain na we see that how we see that how in the yamuna near the delhi there is a layer of foam how there is how there are zones called hypoxic zones if i am not wrong where we see that how the fishes are dying why because there is surface water runoff all these are different dimensions of the causes of environmental destruction right just because of the agriculture we don't have to write all of this this is just one way this is just one part that how through agriculture we are destroying then you can talk about the industries you can talk about the industries that how industries are dependent on different kind of fossil fuels right for example we see that how industries use coal based industries coal based thermal power plants in delhi we see that how the electricity is mostly coming from coal based thermal power plants and because of that there is air pollution then there are tanneries near the rivers right even that is leading to pollution then industries are also releasing certain hazardous wastes these hazardous waste can also lead to environmental pollution one of the example is that how bhopal gas tragedy happened hai na so this is regarding industries now this was the sectoral approach what are the other ways you think that is there uh, in which pollution is happening think of think of the rural urban way rural mein to agriculture ke through ho raha hai but what about urban in urban we are seeing that how land encroachment is happening how there are uh, how the wetlands are be facing destruction for example in bangalore how there is no specific mechanism for waste segregation so waste management is an issue right all these are different ways which shows that how environment is being destroyed then other example which you can take is that in urban areas how there is air pollution in delhi why there is pollution because stubble burning is happening so question is asking us that why there causes for poor ranking first we can show that what are the indicators of poor ranking that how air quality is low how water pollution is there how land degradation is there how biodiversity is decreasing and then we can show these causes okay huge water is used as coolant yes so basically there are different industries which are using water as a coolant so that also you can say you can also say because we are talking about environmental uh, performance index environment ke andar water bhi aayega so how composite water management index composite water management index is a report by niti ayog it says that how there is huge amount of water scarcity and how almost 600 million people are under water stress okay yes slum problem kashish kashish kaushal is saying that can we write slum problem in urban areas see we are talking about environmental performance index thoda environmental centric rehna padega slum problem is a social issue hai na slum problem se environment bhi as such koi destroy nahi ho raha hai environment kaise destroy ho raha hai that in urban areas 
वी आर सींग गार्बेज मूंड्स वॉट आर गार्बेज मूंड्स यू विल सी दैट देर आर ह्यूज पाइल्स ऑफ गार्बेज दैट इज कलेक्टेड नियर और ऑन द आउटस्कर्ट ऑफ द अर्बन एरियाज फॉर एग्जाम्पल द डेली गाजीपुर माउंड वेस्ट माउंड नियर दिस वैशाली एरिया राइट सो हाउ दीज गार्बेज मूंड्स दे लीड टू फर्दर इशूज लाइक लीचिंग ऑफ केमिकल्स है ना एंड इवन लैंड सब्सिडेंस even land subsidence so these are some of the dimensions on which you can write that how environment is being is being degraded and there are other more 20 30 points but what i'm trying to say is that if you will just brainstorm enough you will come up with n number of points hai na we can again i can again erase this and bring more points but uh, i have prepared uh, i have taken one screenshot of the direct indices of the environmental performance index and we will directly see that index to gain more understanding that what are the so we talked about air quality these are the different dimensions which shows the key parameter indicators kpis kpis of the environmental performance index okay environmental health ke kya hai hamara air quality so we are seeing that how air quality is poor in india reason being trouble trouble burning reason being vehicular emissions reason being emissions from industries and how there is no mitigation for it right water quality for water quality we are seeing that how there is surface water runoff how industries are discharging the pollutants how there is ground water uh, is being polluted through the leaching of chemicals right these are the uh, causes for water quality issues heavy metals how certain industries they are releasing the different kind of chemicals in the environment and that is leading to heavy metals issues biodiversity and habitat this is very good point that how certain specific regions which are very rich in biodiversity for example the western ghats hai na what is happening is that lot of mining activities happening in that region so different reports have been coming like you can uh, note down these reports like the kasturi rangan report ranga rajan report they have said that how these areas which are rich in biodiversity they should they should be divided into different economic sensitive zones e e s z okay and how activities should happen in a regulated way there so even this is leading to biodiversity and habitat loss now what is my one suggestion what is my one suggestion to all the students especially those students who are coming regularly to the session i understand that aap logo ka bhi prelims shuru ho raha hai i totally understand that part theek hai but my very good suggestion for you would be that you keep that you keep your main syllabus and your main pyq in front of you okay do not do anything just keep your pyqs and your main syllabus in front of you and january february march april may i know i'm telling a very drastic drastic kind of uh, suggestion but i can assure you that it will give you humongous uh, you know returns on your main strategy if your may if your prelims is on may 26 at least at least till april at least till april keep reading your just keep reading your main syllabus and main pyqs why because in your prelims preparation you will be reading a lot of current affairs okay 
what i want from you is that while you are reading your current affairs you keep you keep you keep a link in your mind that where can you use that current affair in your mains preparation i will give you one very good example i hope we are live yes uh, we are live so my suggestion is uh, let me give you the example first okay the example is that we read that how the great indian bustard we always keep reading in the monthly magazines that how great indian bustard is suffering a habitat loss great indian bustard is found in the arid and the semi arid regions right why are they suffering habitat loss because we are making different kind of solar projects in the regions of these semi arid regions in rajasthan and mp and when we are and when we are uh, giving uh, electricity lines to these solar power projects then these great indian bustards they are suffering deaths by electrocution hai na so how this small example you will never read about great indian bustard for your mains preparation never ever will question even come on it because mains jo the questions that are coming in mains they are really wide in nature they are not specific but these kind of examples these kind of nitty gritties you will read for prelims my suggestion is remember some of them for your mains hai na agar environmental destruction ki baat aa rahi hai so we can talk about great indian bustard agar if we if we want to talk about that how invasive species are leading to attack on our local species then you will always read 10 to 20 invasive species that are attacking india for example if i can recall proliferous judispora karke tha ek prelims mein question aaya tha invasive species par so remember these small things uh, for from your prelims preparation for your mains but that will only happen when you will keep reading your syllabus and pyqs of the mains hai na keep them in front of you rk singh gadgil committee yes yes uh, the the two committees for western ghats are kasturi rangan committee and the gadgil committee okay uh, not the rangarajan one so how so how here for the biodiversity and habitat you can tell that how marine protected areas are suffering how are they suffering we are seeing that lot of developmental projects are happening there is call to develop great indian uh, great uh, andaman and nicobar uh, developmental project so how there is threat for marine areas then how marine marine protected areas are also suffering environmental destruction because of the kind of fuel leakages you can call it as oil spills now we read about we keep reading about oil spills in a prelims you will never read it for mains use this oil spill as an example to show that how marine areas are suffering destruction then you can also show that how shipping whenever there will be shipping ports being developed then there will be loss of sea grass on that area and how that can have an impact on the different species another again you can give the example of dugong now why i am why i am telling you these examples you will these are those examples whenever you will give prelims you will revise these dugong great indian bustard neel kurinji which is there in the western ghats these are very standard things which are very important things they will get imbibed in your mind your role is to cultivate them and take them forward to your mains prep also okay and keep doing this in even in january even in february march april tak bhi karte rahiye ye kaam hai na i hope that my point is clear to all the students now uh बायोम प्रोटे ये सब तो देख लिया हमने फॉरेस्ट वट आर वी सींग दैट हाउ देर इज ऑल्सो डिस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ दी फॉरेस्ट एरियाज फॉरेस्ट एरियाज भी दो तरह के हैं एक तो अर्बन फॉरेस्ट हैं एक आपके नेचुरल फॉरेस्ट हैं 
तो नेचुरल फॉरेस्ट आर सफरिंग डिक्लाइन बिकॉज ऑफ दी माइनिंग एक्टिविटीज बिकॉज ऑफ दी राइजिंग ऑफ दी लिविंग एरियाज तो अर्बनाइजेशन बढ़ रहा है देन अर्बन फॉरेस्ट में यू कैन गिव दी एग्जाम्पल ऑफ आर ए फॉरेस्ट केस दैट दे वर कॉल्स टू मेक इट अ शेल्टर है ना सो ट्रीज वर बींग कट वो एग्जाम्पल दे सकते हैं आप यहां पर फिशरीज ये भी क्लाइमेट एंड एनर्जी दैट हाउ मोर एंड मोर मीथेन एमिशन सीओ टू एमिशन आर हैपनिंग ओके ये सब आपको पता है इसमें मैं कुछ समझाने के लिए अलग से नहीं है पर आप समझिए कि डिमेंशन सारे कॉजेस के ही हैं जस्ट इसको इंडियन कॉन्टेक्स में आपको बताना है एयर पोल्यूशन वाटर रिसोर्सेज एग्रीकल्चर ये सब हमने डिस्कस किया है ठीक है बाकी और भी पॉइंट्स यहां पे हमने डिस्कस किए थे रिगार्डिंग द कॉजेज वेन इट कम्स टू एनवायरमेंटल प्रोटेक्शन इंडेक्स इफ देर आर एनी सजेशन यू कैन गिव इट इन द कॉमेंट सेक्शन Now we will move towards the next part. Now we will move towards the next part. That is, what are the challenges? What are the challenges and policy shortcomings? इससे पहले एक बार प्रेजेंटेशन देख लेते हैं जो हमें गुड कॉपीज वी हैव गॉट तो कॉजेज में कैसे कैसे प्रेजेंटेशन किया है वेरी क्रिस्प पॉइंट्स आर देयर डिटोरिएटिंग एयर क्वालिटीज आई थिंक सम रिपोर्ट शुड हैव बीन गिवन ए क्यू आई इंडेक्स रिपोर्ट और एयर क्वालिटी रिपोर्ट डिफरेंट रिपोर्ट आर देयर वेन इट कम्स टू द एयर क्वालिटी एस्किलेटिंग ग्रीन हाउस गैस एमिशन development and economic growth over sustainability here you can give the example that how coal usage coal usage in india is seeing a constant rise india is saying we will keep using the coal more and more because we have developmental needs data collection and analysis the causes mein utna inhone kuch bahut nikal ke nahi aaya answer lot of thing could have been added when it comes to the causes those are missing in this answer कॉजेज भी है यहाँ पे भी दूसरी कॉपी है ये एयर क्वालिटी में व्हाट आर द कॉजेज वेहीकुलर इमिशन इंडस्ट्रियल एक्टिविटी एंड एग्रीकल्चरल बर्निंग दे हैव आल्सो गिवन अ पुअर रैंक इन ग्लोबल एयर क्वालिटी इंडेक्स दिस इज अ कॉम्प्रिहेंसिव पॉइंट ओके देन वाटर क्वालिटी लाइक यमुना हैज लेड टू इको सिस्टम डिग्रेडेशन एग्जाम्पल इज गिवेन बायोडाइवर्सिटी एंड हैपीटेट लॉस देर इज रैपिड डिफॉरेस्टेशन There is example coastal areas of Sundan, illegal Sundarban, illegal poaching and trafficking. Overall, good presentation and even good examples are mentioned. Here also some causes are mentioned: reduced air quality, GHG emissions, heavy metal pollution, poor waste management. Overall, the presentation is good. Examples are also there. Not up to mark compliance with BS four. norms very good bs4 norms you can even talk about the fame india scheme okay heavy metals maybe they have given the name of cadmium mercury which is leading to ground water pollution this is also good poor waste management poor waste management mein you can also talk about that how because of the poor waste management there is also the issue of urban flooding why because there is clogging of the different kind of uh, see, uh, different kind of sewage lines which leads to urban flooding in areas like chennai and bangalore now we have to come to the part where we will tell that what are the environment what are the key environmental challenges and policy shortcomings when it comes to the context so एनवायरमेंटल चैलेंजेस तो हमने देख ही लिया ऊपर बट नाउ वी हैव टू थिंक दैट व्हाट आर द पॉलिसी शॉर्टकमिंग्स हाउ वी आर नॉट एबल टू प्रिपेयर देन हेयर अगेन यू हैव टू जस्ट टेल दैट व्हाट आर द इश्यूज व्हेन इट कम्स टू द फॉर एग्जांपल 
Why air quality is degrading? Stubble burning is there, but what is the policy issue? Policy issue is that appropriate technology, appropriate technology is missing at the farm level. For example, happy cedar machines. There are specific cedar machines which are used, happy cedar machines, which help in reducing the stubble burning but these kind of technology is not there right then how how biofuels how biofuel blending this is just the goal is just e20 that is 20 percent blending how countries like brazil are going for much more percentage of ethanol blending right then how when it comes to the environmental protection we are seeing that the clearances by different for different environment for different infrastructural projects like the chardham chardham highway because of such infrastructural developments the environment is not getting its right due for example, we see the example of Yoshimat, Yoshimat land subsidence case, right? That how land sub subsidence is happening because of the such infrastructural projects. What are the other issues in the policy? You can take you can take the pestle approach here. We talked about the stakeholders in the earlier part. But for this part, we can take the pastel approach that how there is lack of political will. What is the lack of political will? That as such, thinking about environmental sustainability requires long term uh, planning. But in democracy, there has to be some immediate go uh, goods which have to be delivered. Right? Then how? Economic, how economic growth is prioritized and when it comes to the policy, when we are calculating the GDP, we are not ensuring that we also look at what is the kind of opportunity cost. That's why there, there are calls that we should also take in the environmental loss which is happening when we are going GDP. So that concept is called green GDP. When we will take into account the environmental losses that are happening because of the economic growth, then we can talk about the green GDP, that how green GDP will include those factors. So all these are some of the policy, policy issues. Then when it comes to the society, that how still people are not aware about the waste segregation, how people are still going for throwing uh, waste on the roadsides. How there is how there is excessive tourism. How there is excessive tourism. You can give the example of Shimla. That Shimla was suffering from a water crisis. Why? Because every ecosystem comes with a carrying capacity. Now you will read about carrying capacity in your in your prelims preparation, whenever you will be reading your PT 365, you will come across a lot of different different keywords, right? Let me let me tell you one of the keywords. For example, we all uh, if if you have seen the prelims PYQs, you must have seen this keyword called Miyawaki method. Miyawaki method means that you go for excessive afforestation, excessive plantation within a small region in the urban areas and they will act as carbon sinks. They will act as carbon sinks, they will improve the air quality, they will also lead to giving different kind of uh, nutrition gardens type of concept. Pankaj, uh, Pankaj is asking a very valid doubt that so you always say points should be crisp but evaluator says 
explain every point in three line and not one line three line of explanation and one line example will make point bulky pankaj your point is very valid let me clarify you that in gs okay there is not much scope of explanation our goal should would always be to just drop the points you look at any toppers copy okay you look at any toppers copy the goal of the answer would be to give more and more dimension and not explain the dimensions so and i totally understand your doubt that there can be a little bit of conflict uh, in what the evaluator is saying and what i am saying because such is the nature of humanities that there is always subjectivity uh, between two uh, kind of people who are evaluating your copy and that will be there in upsc also but going for crisp and short format that is a standard which is working for 7 to 8 years now you see any of the toppers copy the points are really 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 crisp okay and with examples so usually there should be no point which is more than 3 lines including the example within the 3 lines you should move to the next point so whenever there is a conflict between what uh, your evaluation is there at the shunya is and when it comes to the daily answer writing you can rely on me and you can follow it okay evaluation mein hamesha larger comments dekhne hai suggestions dekhne hai zyada ghabrana nahi hai so this miyawaki method can be used right then one more thing that you will uh, that you will see in your prelims book is forest landscape management other area based conservation measures area based other area based conservation measures ye bhi aapko milega aapki prelims ki hi uh, current affair booklets mein use all these methods in your suggestions hai na policy challenges wagera to aap soch hi lenge khud se but use these kind of keywords in your way forward in conclusion sabko pata hai ye aisa kuch nahi hai ki ye alag hai jab bhi aap jab bhi aap padhenge prelims ki books wahan pe aapko ye sab milega to so use all this okay that is my final suggestion now let's see the copies presentation ki baat kar rahe the to ek bar copies bhi dekh lete hain what are the environmental challenges huge problem of air pollution private entities not following strict environmental protection rules and pollution control board norms yaar yahan pe example dijiye example kya dena hai cpcb norms not followed okay ya fir aur kya bata sakte hain aap isme we have all we have all read that how different kind of electrostatic precipitators are to be used electrostatic precipitators now even even regarding this you will read in your prelims preparation so use this in your answer that how the maintenance of electrostatic precipitators and the at the industry level is poor hai na lack of people participation more awareness about environmental issues is is not strict action is also required theek hai ye sahi hai green washing by private business very good point very good point this is what i'm talking about the candidate inhone prelims ki taiyari mein pyqs kare hain wahan pe inko ek jagah green washing ka concept mila and they have used that green washing in their main answers this is this is smartness this is smartness aur aapko yahi smartness rakhna hai right that then what are the policy shortcomings inadequate research and development only 0.7% of the gdp on r&d now even this is a concept in your prelims preparation when you will be reading your when you will be reading your uh, current affair booklets from for economic affairs okay then then there is one keyword called gross gross expenditure on research and development okay there was a report called global innovation index so global innovation index has ranked india pretty much high on a higher note and we have improved our rankings there they were telling that how the gross 
एक्सपेंडिचर ऑन रिसर्च एंड डेवलपमेंट इज जस्ट पॉइंट सिक्स फाइव परसेंट ऑफ द जी डी पी एंड हाउ इवन इन दिस पॉइंट सिक्स फाइव परसेंट द प्राइवेट सेक्टर पार्टिसिपेशन इज जस्ट एट अराउंड फोर्टी परसेंट एंड गवर्नमेंट इज डूइंग द मेजर रिसर्च एट अराउंड सिक्सटी परसेंट इवन इन दिस पॉइंट सिक्स फाइव परसेंट नाउ दिस कैंडिडेट इज अवेयर अबाउट इट एंड दैट इज वाई इन्होंने यूज किया है पॉइंट सेवन परसेंट ऑफ द जी डी पी ऑन आर एंड डी वेरी वेरी गुड यूज ऑफ प्रिलियम्स इन्फॉर्मेशन यू हैव टू डू दैट लॉबिंग इज देयर ओके आउटडेटेड लॉज एंड लेजिस्लेशन एयर एक्ट वॉटर एक्ट गुड लैक ऑफ प्लान डेवलपमेंट अलॉन्ग विद इकोलॉजिकल कंजर्वेशन वेरी गुड सो एनवायरमेंट वेन इट कम्स टू एनवायरमेंट इन योर मेन सेक्शन कीप योर प्रिलिम्स इंफॉर्मेशन एज योर बेस्ट फ्रेंड है ना फॉर एग्जाम्पल जब आप वे फॉरवर्ड देंगे वे फॉरवर्ड में आप क्या बता सकते हैं दैट हाउ इंडिया हैज कम अप विद कंपेंसेटरी हाउ इंडिया हैज कम अप विद कंपेंसेटरी एफॉरेस्टेशन मैनेजमेंट परफॉर्मेंस जो भी एक्ट है कैंपा एक्ट है वे फॉरवर्ड में यूज कर सकते हैं ना हम दैट हाउ वी आर मैनेजिंग एनवायरमेंट एंड इकोनॉमी so we can talk about these kind of prelims related information in our answers the key environmental performance challenges climate change extinction of various plant marine animals jab tak yahan aap example nahi denge koi value nahi hai koi bhi value nahi hai bina example diye hai na to example dena hai rapid urbanization leading to urban heat island decent point Waste management, this much uh, million tons of waste annually with this much collected. So data is there. Landfills ki baat kariye inon ne. We were talking about the different kind of garbage mounds, landfills. The policy shortcomings me kya kya bataye? Lack of environmental regulation, green infrastructure. Very good point. Low public awareness and participation. So good points. Good points are there, and the points are crisp. Key environmental policy challenges and shortcomings. बी एस फोर नॉर्म्स के बारे में बात किया इन्होंने वेरी गुड पुअर रेगुलेटरी कंप्लायंस इंक्रीज मैन मेड डिजास्टर्स ग्लोबल वार्निंग सो जनरल पॉइंट्स हैं उतना कुछ बहुत स्पेसिफिक नहीं है इनके पॉइंट्स में नाउ हाउ कैन यू कंक्लूड हाउ कैन यू कंक्लूड कंक्लूड से पहले एक वे फॉरवर्ड भी देंगे ना कि करना क्या है अब उसके लिए हमें पता ही है कि एनवायरनमेंट में क्या क्या चल रहा है वी आर कमिंग वी आर कमिंग अप विद पंचामृत वी हैव डिस्कस दैट येस्टरडे वी हैव कम अप विद अंडर पंचामृत वी आर गोइंग फॉर मिटिगेशन मेजर्स राइट देन और क्या कर रहे हैं हम एनवायरमेंट को बचाने के लिए वी आर गोइंग फॉर ग्रीन मोबिलिटी okay then we are going for green energy also now energy in what form energy is there in our form for example we are talking about green hydrogen we are talking about gobardhan scheme hai na so again these all schemes they were there in your budget 2023 waste to energy plants waste to energy se related a keyword hai kaun batayega if there is anyone in the audience those who are watching the lecture who can tell what is one of the important concept uh, regarding waste to energy and why i am asking it it is asked in prelims you guys must have started your preparation for prelims right I am hoping that कोई बताएगा मेरे को but uh, because the time is short, I am just telling myself only. The concept is pyrolysis. That how under pyrolysis we can go for waste to energy, how we can go for coal gasification. So ये सब चीजें आप prelims के लिए पढ़ रहे हैं अभी. That how government is trying to conserve environment by going for clean kind of fuels hai na how we are going for more conservation based measures wo sab aap way forward mein 
लेके आएंगे वर्किंग यूपीएससी एस्पिरेंट वेरी गुड पायरोलाइसिस बता दिया आपने तो यू कैन टेल ऑल दिस इन यू कैन यूज योर प्रिलिम्स नॉलेज इन दिस होल सेशन फ्रॉम द स्टार्ट टू एंड दैट इज वॉट आई एम ट्राइंग टू टेल दैट हाउ टू यूज द प्रिलिम्स इन्फॉर्मेशन अभी कुछ नया नहीं पढ़ेंगे अपन है ना इस तरह के टॉपिक्स के लिए यू कैन इवन यूज यू कैन इवन यूज द सुप्रीम कोर्ट जजमेंट्स वेयर सुप्रीम कोर्ट इज ट्राइंग टू गिव डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ कॉन्सेप्ट लाइक द पॉल्यूटर पेस प्रिंसिपल द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ एब्सोल्यूट लाइबिलिटी वेयर दोज हु गो फॉर पॉल्यूशन विल बी लाइबल किस किस जजमेंट में बोला है सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने ये द जजमेंट इज एम सी मेहता केस ओके यू कैन टेल दैट इन एम सी मेहता केस सुप्रीम कोर्ट हैज वेंट विद पॉल्यूटर पेज प्रिंसिपल तो आई होप दैट यू गाइज आर ट्राइंग टू गेट दैट हाउ ब्रेन स्टॉर्मिंग इज बींग डन एंड दिस काइंड ऑफ ब्रेन स्टॉर्मिंग शुड बी डन एट योर लेवल ऑल्सो सो दैट अल्टीमेटली यूनिक सम यूनिक पॉइंट आर कमिंग इन योर आंसर्स ओके एंड ऑन दीज लाइन्स यू कैन कंक्लूड एंड इन ब्रीफ यू कैन गिव योर वे फॉरवर्ड इफ देर आर एनी अदर डाउट दैट यू कैन आस्क इन द कॉमेंट सेक्शन and now we will conclude this session we will meet on monday now with a new daw and i hope that aapko ye session mein wo cheez samajh mein aayi hogi that how uh, the goal is structuring the goal is trying to innovate the goal is being uh, the goal is uh, to keep our answers crisp and tight and the goal is also to use prelims information in your mains answer writing okay so we will meet on monday now goodbye and Take care.